Good morning to you all and welcome for the word of God and the reflection today. You know, this is my last um, spiritual encouragement for you. Uh, it's been almost uh, uh, more than three years I'm sharing my reflections. It's a beautiful experience for me and I just loved it. I just loved it. And being a seven years part of this parish, Cabrini, it was a great blessing for me. You know, during those seven years, I have grown spiritually, may not be physically, but spiritually, my love for Jesus and love for my blessed Mama Mary. That this is the greatest blessing for me. And I will continue this uh, special blessings as I continue to share my blessings to others. I'm so grateful for everything being part of this parish. Francis Cabrini Parish is my family. I felt so much at home here. And thank you for all your love and support and friendship and prayers. You're all amazing, amazing parishioners, my friends. I love you all. Miss you all. God bless you. Let's begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, uh, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not dry out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be, will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, in the scriptures, God speaks to us. And in the prayer, we speak to God. It is a um, double ways. God is speaking and we are speaking to God. Hence, it's not enough to just to speak to God and say, Lord, Lord. We must also listen to what the Lord commands and teaches us. Very often, we speak too much and we don't give the time for the Lord to speak to us. So prayer is always, such kind of prayer is always empty prayers. So the Lord wants doers of the word of God, not just mere the hearers of the word of God. So Jesus compares the doers of the word of God to the house built on rock and the hearers of the word of God to the house built on sand. So no matter how beautiful a house might appear externally, but if its foundation is not strong enough, it will collapse any times. Similarly, no matter how devout we might appear externally, 
if our life is not rooted uh, in the word of god if our life is not rooted in prayer and sacrifices internally we must be perished in the storms of satan very often the deeper the foundation the stronger will the house be it's very practical similarly the stronger our relationship with christ the more stronger are we to face the the temptations and the trials of this world you know our true faith and our true love for god is tested not in the sunshine of life when all things go on smoothly but rather in the storms of life in the difficulties of life in the challenges of life hence having a strong spiritual foundation matters the most you know a soldier uh, a soldier without the armor is sure to die so also we are without the spiritual foundation we all will meet doom let's build our foundation stronger in christ for he is our rock he is our shield so when we build our lives when our families on christ the rock and his word no harm shall fall upon us so brothers and sisters let us strive every day every moment to build our life our families our marriages on christ alone on his teachings on the good values the nothing will disturb us then we can have the courage the strength to face the world our life is safe our life is safe from the devil let us pray lord jesus you are the only foundation that can hold us up when trials and the disaster threaten us sometimes give us the wisdom foresight you and strength that uh, we need to do what is right and good and to reject whatever is false and contrary to your will may we be a doer of your word and not a hearer only mary our blessed mother please help us in our journey to god help us to to love god beyond everything and see god in every moment having jesus having god our life is always happy in this world hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen the lord be with you with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen god loves you keep smiling